Hello Sagittarius, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do your April 2020 read tonight. So we will go in with some tarot and then get some advice or guidance from the universe and you guys will be done. Just a quick look at the month to come, all right? If you'd like a personal reading, you can find me on my Facebook page, Mystic Kitten, and we can discuss what that would look like for you there. Remember, this is a general reading. It cannot, will not resonate with everyone. That's perfectly fine. You can always check the other signs in your chart. In fact, I encourage it. It gives you, it can bring you some clarity. And if you don't find your story here, you may find it there. Please do remember, cross watchers, you have to switch the energies around. Please like, subscribe, and share the videos so that they can um, get to a broader audience and people who need to hear these messages will be able to find them with a bit more ease. So with that said, let's get going. Sagittarius, April All right, so the underlying energy for the read tonight is the Page of Wands in reverse. So somebody's, um, oh, you're withdrawing. You are taking time to reflect. I'm getting the sense that you may have felt a loss here, a loss of energy, a loss of guidance, a loss of desire. You just don't have that passion. Your um, that passion just isn't there resonating with you. The overall energy for the reading tonight is the Four of Swords. So this speaks to making decisions, uh, weighing weighing pros and cons, really being reflective, but very much in a headspace. So not using passion and guidance and intuition. Very much from a level-headed space and making those decisions from a logical standpoint. So your recent past energy, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands, and the Empress in reverse. Oh. So, what I'm getting, Sag, is somebody had some sort of information come in or something happened and it felt like the rug was pulled out from underneath you. It was like your world was kind of turned upside down. And rather than going into the Four of Swords, which could be why your overall energy is the Four of Swords, you ran. So instead of standing your ground and like standing up for what you believed in or taking control of the situation, you withdrew and you yeeted your shit out of that situation, which put you into the temp or which put you into the Empress in reverse where you felt a loss of control. You didn't feel like you had like you didn't feel like you had any sort of up or down, right? Like, 
It's like all direction kind of faded away and you kind of fell into this like abyss. Your current energy is the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. You are confused as fuck. You can't decide what you want to do. You can't decide how you want to move forward. There's definitely somebody there who's trying to emotionally support you. Or perhaps it's the person you want to emotionally support you, but with this Ten of Swords being in reverse, it tells me that you don't know how to make that happen. In your future, your immediate future, you've got the Ten of Wands, or the Five of Wands, pardon me. Temperance in the reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, yeah. So, you want movement, you want to go towards whatever this is, whatever you're confused about that you're feeling a loss of, you want to move forward to get that back. But with the temperance in reverse, it tells me that you've lost patience with this situation or the situation has overstayed its welcome. Like you're ready to fucking slap that eviction notice up and be like, nope, you gots to go. And the three of pentacles in reverse tells me you don't even, you don't even want to look at other options or workarounds. Like you're, it's stagnant, it's at a stalemate and you're over it. So let's get some clarification. Two more shuffles. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands, and the Empress in Reverse, please. Clarify the past energy. Okay. So clarifying your past energy, you've got the Three of Wands, the Emperor, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. No. Six of Swords. All right. So you've got a divine couple here with the emperor and the empress coming up. So that would explain why you're finding it difficult to move away from this situation. If this is resonating as a love reading for you, Sagittarius, you feel like that's your divine counterpart. You see that person and it's wish fulfillment. It's everything you've ever wanted. She's kind, she's accepting, um, and you know, the emperor is level and well thought and stoic and strong. But the three of wands being in reverse tells me you're not capable of taking a stand and making your feelings known. And then with this six of swords being in reverse, you're also not able to move away. The Eight of Pentacles would suggest that you're willing to put in the work for it. But you're very confused. You're very confused about the situation. Um... Let's 
clarify the present energy. Last shuffle. Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Swords in reverse, please, for current energy for April 2020, Sagittarius. All right. Got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Swords. And the Six of Cups in reverse. Well, you feel like you've lost this person. You're feeling a tremendous amount. Okay, it was clarified. Did I go over this already? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which tells me that you're feeling loss. You feel... Um, you feel like you can't obtain it. It doesn't matter how hard you try, that, that ending can't be yours. The Three of Swords speaks to heartache and pain and despair. The Six of Cups tells me you're pulling back. You're retreating from this. It's like, you feel like you can't have this, so it's caused so much heartbreak that you've just walked away. And if this person was to even call you, you wouldn't even answer the phone. One more shuffle for the immediate future for April 2020. Can I get clarification for the Five of Wands, the Tempress in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse for April 2020, immediate future? So clarifying the immediate future, you've got the King of Pentacles, the Page of Cups in reverse, and the King of Swords. You feel like you're in competition with somebody. Or there's something that's, there's another energy here. I don't know what side it's on, but Something is making you feel like you have to step down or you're not able to be the victor in this. And with this page of cups being in reverse, that tells me that you, you are so shut off to this now that like you might even be lying to yourself, telling yourself you're done with this or you, you never wanted this anyways, this doesn't matter. I'm gonna grab a few cards for possible outcome. Can I get possible outcome for Sagittarius for April 2020? Possible outcome for Sagittarius April 2020. <clears throat> Okay, possible outcome is the Hermit in reverse. So you're coming to some conclusions. The Five of Swords in reverse. So and the Knight of Cups in reverse. This still speaks of deception, Sagittarius. I don't know on whose part, but this still, 
This still speaks of deception. Can I know more about possible outcome for Sagittarius? April 2020, please. Yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse. What I'm seeing here, the vibe I'm getting, is because of the second king that's coming in here, you're going to know who you are, right? Are you, as the empress or... I'm going to say as the emperor, remember, energy is fluent. We all have like masculine and feminine energy within us, right? So all this means is that you're employing, imploring your masculine side when it comes to this situation. But who, whatever it is, so you are the emperor showing up here. If you're imploring being the king of pentacles and trying to bring this empress everything that the 3D world has to offer and you're being very stable and you're being very grounded and building foundations or if you are the king of sword you are the king of swords and you're being very level-headed and you're being very strong and you're being very protective almost to the controlling point and not in a bad way but just to take care of that person to know that that person's okay then that's where you fall but there are two energies that are pulling through in your immediate energy or immediate future energy for April and as soon as you realize as soon as like that information comes to light, that's when this heartbreak happens, which sends you into a spiral. But you're holding, you're, you're lying about it. You're saying you're fine. You're saying that it doesn't matter. You're saying that it's cool and it's fine, but it's anything, but you're hurting. The Three of Swords doesn't show up in the upright unless you're hurting. So somebody is hurting here. All right, let's get some advice from the universe. Can I get some advice for Sagittarius for April 2020, please? What advice do you have for Sagittarius for April 2020? Ooh, they gave you three. Okay, we've got the Eagle King, the big picture, angelic help. So before you allow this to happen, make sure that you're taking the time to step back out of the situation and properly assess. Because you could prevent this heartache if you're able to see things as they're unfolding. This isn't a tower moment yet. But with that wheel being there, a tower could show up very easily. Very easily. The Shadow Queen, acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. And that's why I said there's some lying going on. Whether it's you lying to yourself or somebody lying to you, and I don't even, I don't even want to say that if it's not you lying to your own self about your feelings and how you're feeling in the situation, it's not that somebody else is lying to you per se, but it's that manipulation, right? They're not giving you whole truths and they could very well be doing it because they feel like they're sparing your feelings. I don't get a malice intent here. And your final advice card is the sun dancers. Joyful activity, celebration of life, abundance. And so it doesn't, 
This card is telling you that it doesn't matter if you have this Empress or not, you have the ability to be abundant. You have the ability to have a joyful, fulfilling life. If you choose to turn any of these movement cards, and of which you have many, if you choose to turn any of those around and walk away, it's not the end, it's just a new beginning. And again, we find ourselves back at the very first card, the Wheel of Fortune. It's just a new beginning. All right? Okay, Sagittarius, I hope that this helps. Please do like, subscribe, and share the channel so that we can take these messages to who they need to get to. Take care of yourself, be kind to you and others this April. We'll connect really soon, Sagittarius. Blessed be.